Hi, my name is Mohamed Milham. I'm the Deputy Director for the Clinical Cancer Services at the Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center. And I'm here to talk to you about something that's a little bit difficult to explain. It's a MOG. So I'm sure you're all wondering what in God's name is a MOG. A MOG is a term that defines a multidisciplinary oncology group. So let's take that apart. Multidisciplinary is a team. It's a diverse team of players and members that I will explain in a little bit. Oncology is cancer. And G is group or dedicated. So we have a dedicated cancer team made up of many people. These specialists all sit in a room and discuss patient care. Who are our team members in our MOGs or our multidisciplinary oncology groups? We have a surgeon who plays an integral part in the care of a patient by removing cancers from the body. We have a pathologist who looks under the microscope of the tumor that's been removed and explains to us the biology, whether it was aggressive, how quickly it was dividing. We have a radiologist who shows us scans, MRIs, PET CT scans, which are just forms of ways that we can image tumors inside the body and explain to us what's happened to that patient. We have different groups of people who take care of the patient from a cancer therapy perspective like our radiation oncologist who uses radiation to kill the cancer or a medical oncologist who uses chemotherapy and targeted therapy. I am a medical oncologist and my treatments usually form some form of chemotherapy that I can deliver to our patients. We also have a very new way of looking at our cancers because our researchers have joined our group and they offer a very intelligent way of combining clinical and research ideas to help move the science forward. These teams come together for many reasons. The biggest reason is to take care of a patient and to minimize the errors that could occur if people didn't talk or communicate with each other in the care of a patient. But it also helps us drive a lot of the ideas and, 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 and science forward. At the Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, we have 14 different groups. What's interesting is each one of these groups focuses on a specific cancer. I belong to the melanoma and sarcoma group, but there are other groups, like the lung group and the genitourinary group. We have 14 distinct groups allowing these team players to get together and discuss cancer.